So we're gonna start in child's pose. So knees are wide on the mat, toes can come to touch, hips sink back, arms reach long, forehead down to the mat. And just begin to focus on your breathing. Walking your hands off to the right side of the mat, try to anchor down firmly into your left hip. Breathing into your left side rib cage. Walking your hands through center off to the left, anchoring your right hip down. Breathing into your right rib cage. We'll walk our hands back through center, bringing your hands forward as you lift your hips so that they're stacked over your knees, forehead to the mat. puppy pose. Option to bring your palms to touch, bending your elbows, bring your thumbs to the back of your neck, stretch your tricep. Releasing your hands back down. You can walk your hands under your shoulders coming to tabletop. So wrists are stacked underneath of your shoulders, knees are under your hips. And we'll begin to move through cat and cow. So starting the motion at your pelvis, slowly tilt your tailbone toward the sky, letting your spine follow, gaze lifts on an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly tuck your tailbone, let the rest of the spine follow as you exhale to cat. And just flow at your own breath. Inhaling, belly drops. Exhale, arch your spine. You can begin to take any little movements that feel good. Maybe some circles. Or side to side reaches. And we'll start to add a little bit of a twist. So we'll inhale our right arm high to the sky. Exhale as you thread it through. Right ear comes down to the mat. Left arm reaches long overhead. And just see if you can shift your hips off to the right a little bit more to deepen the stretch in your rib cage. And we'll walk our left arm back under our shoulder, pressing up for that counter twist, then meeting back at tabletop. We'll do the same thing on the other side, so left arm reaches. Exhale as you thread it through, left ear to the mat, right arm overhead. And find that subtle shift and breathe. Right arm comes back under your shoulder, press up for a counter twist. Landing in tabletop. You can take a round of cat and cow if you'd like. And then we're going to move through rocking child's pose. So on an inhale, we walk our hands forward, belly drops, gaze lifts for cobra. 
And on an exhale, press your hips all the way back for child's pose. And just move with your own breath, inhaling forward and exhaling back. You can pause anywhere that feels good, add any extra movements. And the next time you come through tabletop, we'll land there. We're going to slowly reach our right leg out to the side. Try to ground that outer border of your foot down. And we'll take little rocks back, shifting your weight toward your glutes. And coming forward over your hands. into a downward facing dog. So reaching your tailbone toward the sky, you can have your knees as bent as you'd like, your heels do not have to touch the ground. Maybe just begin to walk back and forth, alternating each heel down. Let your head hang heavy, try not to hold tension in your neck. Maybe coming high on your toes, melting your heels to the right. Back through center, melting your heels off to the left. We're coming right back down the middle. We'll shift forward into a high plank, pressing back to down dog. And just go through that two more times to work your shoulders, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Slowly walk our hands towards our feet. Bring your feet shoulder width apart. Grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. So a little bend in your knees. Your chest can come to your thighs. Option to sway side to side. And then we'll come to the middle, releasing our hands down. Left hand will stay. Right hand reaches. right hand comes down, left hand reaches. And bringing your hand back down. We'll slowly inhale, working our way up. Arms reach overhead. Right hand grabs left wrist, side body stretch. Through the center, left hand grabs right wrist, off to the left. Coming back to the middle and ending. 